four months after the deadly shooting of a teenage girl in Sanger. A suspect is now behind bars. Our Juanita Adame joining us in studio with more on the man police believe is responsible for her death. Juanita. Well, Steph, Sanger police told me that in order to prosecute a murder case, the evidence and the building of that case to present in court must be solid. They took their time on this investigation to make sure that justice was served for Lupe's family. Four months of hard work led up to this moment right here. We had an active warrant for that subject's arrest. Uh, the officer conducted a traffic stop. Joseph Hernandez, 20 years old, of, of, uh, previously of Sanger, but now in Fresno, was taken into custody without incident. The arrest of the man suspected of shooting and killing 17-year-old Lupe Garcia back in December. During the course of the investigation, our investigators uh, were able to develop leads that uh, pointed in his direction. Sanger Police Lieutenant Jason Baust said the car Hernandez drove was known to police. And Wednesday morning, they noticed a car matching it and pulled it over. Without them and their dedication, this, this case would not have uh, come to the conclusion that it has. It was back on December 21st, a few days before Christmas, that Lupe Garcia was shot and killed in the areas of I Street and Almond Avenue in Sanger. Our officers actually heard the shots being fired. There was some sort of altercation, and uh, she was shot. Um, for purposes of the investigation, we are not releasing all the details at this time. Hernandez was a known gang member and had an extensive criminal history. We had multiple prior contacts with him uh, related to uh, various different types of felonies. Like, again, he was a uh, documented Sedeno gang member. Baust credits the work of their investigators for getting a dangerous killer off the streets. Since December, uh, my investigators, our investigators, have done a tremendous job. Uh, so much. Uh, search warrants, investigation goes into a case like this, uh, and they, not to use a cliche, but they literally worked nonstop to develop the probable cause and get the evidence they needed. So uh, just a tremendous effort by our investigators. Hernandez has been booked into the Fresno County Jail on several felony charges, including murder. Live in the studio, Juanita Adame, KC24, Local News That Matters.